This brings us to the revived Roman Empire, which is the European Union. In 1957, six European nations came together and signed the Treaty of Rome. This formed the European Economic Community, which is the basis for what the European Union is today. The European Union has many features of statehood, including a single currency, border-free travel, an executive branch that proposes laws, and its own legislature, the European Parliament. Jose Manuel Barroso, who was president of the EU's executive branch for 10 years, compared the EU to an empire. He said, Sometimes I like to compare the EU as a creation to the organization of empire. We have the dimension of empire. What we have is the first non-imperial empire. What will the revived Roman Empire be like? Daniel 2 describes some of the features of the revived Roman Empire. And there shall be a fourth kingdom, strong as iron, because iron breaks to pieces and shatters all things. And like iron that crushes, it shall break and crush all these. And as you saw the feet and toes, partly of potter's clay and partly of iron, it shall be a divided kingdom. But some of the firmness of iron shall be in it, just as you saw iron mixed with the soft clay. And as the toes of the feet were partly iron and partly clay, so the kingdom shall be partly strong and partly brittle. As you saw the iron mixed with soft clay, so they will mix with one another in marriage, but they will not hold together, just as iron does not mix with clay. This chart illustrates the two stages of the revived Roman Empire, with its legs of iron stage and its feet and toes of iron and clay stage. Daniel makes clear that the final phase of the Roman Empire is a divided kingdom. As a result, it becomes clear that the revived Roman Empire struggles with disunity. The European Union struggles with disunity. The first major example of this occurred from 2009 to 2013 with the European sovereign debt crisis. This threatened the very existence of the euro as a currency, opening up the possibility that the euro currency area could break up. Compare this to the United States. Investors don't usually sit around and worry if the dollar zone is going to break up, but this is in fact what they worry about with the euro in times of crisis. Another strong example of the EU's disunity took place in 2016, where the United Kingdom voted to leave the European Union in its historic Brexit vote. The Bible also says the revived Roman Empire will be partly strong and partly brittle. This is true of EU member countries, both militarily and economically. Some EU members have very strong militaries. Others have extremely small and weak militaries. Furthermore, countries like the UK and Germany have very strong economies. This is in contrast to economies like Greece and Spain, which have high unemployment. Finally, the Bible says that the people in the revived Roman Empire will mix with one another in marriage, but they will not hold together. This quote from Time magazine illustrates the starkness of the situation. Due to its open borders, the EU has a very high rate of cross-border marriages between its member countries. However, the divorce rate for these is drastically higher than for regular EU marriages. What else does the Bible say the revived Roman Empire will be like? The Bible says the revived Roman Empire will be composed of a group of ten kings. Daniel 7 symbolizes these ten kings as ten horns on the head of a beast. Daniel 7 says, As for the ten horns, out of this kingdom ten kings shall arise. Because of this, theologians anticipate a ten-nation alliance in the area where the Roman Empire was. Dr. John Walverd, former president of Dallas Theological Seminary, anticipated the formation of the revived Roman Empire composed of a ten-nation confederacy. In 1995, a military alliance called the Western European Union became ten member states. This alliance was a separate organization from the EU, but worked closely with it. Since the EU is not a military organization, EU members agreed to use the Western European Union as its defense component. So what's the key takeaway? The European Union is the revived Roman Empire. How do we know this? Reason number one. The EU exists at the same time as end-time Israel. Reason number two. The EU is a divided kingdom. Reason number three. The EU's defense component was composed of a core group of ten countries in Western Europe. To learn more about who the Antichrist might be, check out the next video.